Hey Aries, welcome to your general love reading for March 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And do keep in mind that the roles <clears throat> can be reversed because this reading is general and there are quite a few people who cross-watch. So let's see what is going on with Aries. First half of March, 2022. For the situation, we have the Nine of Cups crossed by the Six of Swords. Okay, I'm getting that. This is, um, wow, okay. It's like you both have this wish for each other. You both know what it is that you want and that is each other. However, at the same time, it feels like um, you're trying to move apart from each other and this is proving to be a little bit challenging. Um, almost like you, neither of you can. It could be that it's just one of you who is in this space, but I feel like it's, it's going to be for the both of you, okay, in most cases. Let's see for your energy. We have the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords, sorry, the Page of Wands, and Death. Yeah, definitely feels like some kind of an ending here. But again, I don't, I don't necessarily see it as having ended. It's more of trying to move away from each other because being together was creating some kind of a conflict. Um, and so, yeah, it's like you are in this energy of trying to transform, trying to bring an end here, taking action in that direction. But we'll see. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see for them. We have the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, wow, and the Hierophant. Okay, so we do have Scorpio and Taurus energy showing up here. So some of you might be dealing with one of those signs. But of course, it could be any sign that you're dealing with. This person's in a lot of pain. Um, it almost feels like this person is grieving, grieving a heartbreak. Definitely feels like a very spiritual connection, at least for this person. Actually, I mean, I still do feel like it's for the both of you. I see you, though, trying harder to put an end to this than they are. They're more in this grieving type of an energy here. All right, let's see the potential outcome. We have the Three of Wands. All right, something is being set into motion. It, this is kind of like when we get this card as the final card in the reading, it's kind of like a cliffhanger because it's like, yeah, something's being set into motion and then like waiting to see what that result is going to be. Um, so it could be that things are still taking form, things are still taking shape. All right, let's clarify, let's see. So let's see the Nine of Cups with the Six of Swords. Three cards to clarify, please. All right, and we have the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's like, um, Whoever this is, and again, I do feel like it's the both of you. It's like you're trying to take a new direction and it almost feels like your, your feelings are clashing. I feel like the feelings are clashing with the practicality of the matter. So it's like the feelings, for example, are there, all right? That's clear with this nine of cups, right? The emotions are there, but maybe there is something in the practical aspect of this connection that is creating conflict and that's why you are trying to move away from this connection, which again is proving to be a little bit difficult. Not only difficult, it's creating a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, um, maybe even fear for some of you. All right, let's see that Knight of Swords. I just had the devil show itself, <clears throat> which is Capricorn energy. And yeah, I mean, I feel like there is some fear here. All right, so clarifying the Knight of Swords, we have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, 
you're either trying to move towards something that's going to feel more practical, more stable, more committed, more long term. Um, for some of you, this isn't going to be for all of you, but for some of you, it could even be that you have some other commitment. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship or a marriage or anything like that. It could even be financial. It could be work, some kind of an obligation. But it, it feels like you're trying to move in that direction because that direction just feels more, more stable, more secure for you. And then for others of you, it could be that you're moving away from this because this was not offering those things. And that's what you're, you're seeking. <clears throat> Let's see the Page of Wands. The Fool and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, you're really trying to be independent here. You're trying to just move away from this connection, detach yourself. And again, it feels like, I feel like at the moment, you don't know exactly where this is heading. Like you're moving in this direction, but not necessarily being 100% sure that if this is the right, um, the right decision for you. It feels like, you know, you, it, it's like there's this sense of a risk. It almost feels like there's a sense of a risk no matter what you do, whether you go this way or that way. Let's see death. The three of swords and the four of wands. Well, you're feeling that pain too. This could even be um, an ending other than this connection that we're talking about here. So for those of you um, where it may have resonated that you have some other kind of a commitment, it could be that the other commitment is coming to an end or you are trying to bring an end to that. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you are ending here, whether it be this person or something else, it's painful. It's painful for the both of you. Um, definitely feels like, you know, this was a very strong connection, a very spiritual connection. Um, it came with a sense of belongingness, even if on a practical level, it doesn't seem like it could work. And that's why you're moving away from this. But it's still painful, regardless of whether it's this person or something else. All right. But again, I feel like with that three of wands, something, something is coming, something, something is coming in that's going to be, um, I feel like it's something that you don't know yet. And it could be in relation to this person, or it could be something new. It's going to be different for each of you, but something is, there's some kind of a plan that is finally beginning to take, um, form here. So let's see, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this five of cups. And again, don't forget that the roles can be reversed. All right, so for the Five of Cups, we have Strength and Death. Yeah, um, a lot of grief here concerning this ending. Um, it's like neither of you really wants this to end. That's just what I'm getting here. Neither of you really wants this to end. It's hurting the both of you. There's a lot of pain. I don't know what these practical issues are. They're going to be different for each of you. Um, and that's why I feel like it's not 100% over. Like, I am, I am not convinced that whatever these practical issues are, that they cannot be resolved. And maybe it's, you know, more in one person's hands to control this than the other, maybe. Maybe it's, it's for both of you. But whatever it is, I'm not convinced that it cannot be resolved. Yet. But of course, trust your own intuition. Um... It's like this person here, they're trying to be strong through this grief. They're trying to just kind of push through and like white knuckle the, the situation that they're facing. All right, let's see the Three of Swords. The Three of Cups and Temperance. 
this person is still, um, they still have hope. They still have hope here. They're still kind of um, feeling like that there could be a reconciliation in time. So this is Scorpio showing up again. We also have Leo out as well as Sagittarius. Um, yeah, this, this person is grieving this ending like no other, basically. Um, still having that hope that maybe things can work out. Or more like, because I don't really see them taking action at the moment, but it feels more like um, just not being able to accept that this is over for 100%. It's like somewhere deep in their minds or deep in their hearts, it's like they just feel like, no, 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 like this, this can't be the end. This cannot be the end. It's like something's got to give. Something's going to happen where, you know, we will be together. It's kind of like that. Let's see the Hierophant. The Five of Wands and the Hierophant. <laughs> um... This feels like there's just, the fact that this connection is so strong, it's like they just cannot overcome that. They cannot overcome that. That's why we have this five of wands. It's like, it's conflicting to them because it feels like there's a conflict of interest here. There's this pool, there's this magneticism, there's this um, connection that cannot be explained basically. And it's like that's the conflict of interest because for whatever reason, on a practical level, it doesn't make sense um, for this to work out. But then spiritually or emotionally, it's a whole different story. And that creates conflict. Like the, the strength of the connection creates conflict. And of course, this could also be, um, for some of them, for a very specific group of you, this could be another commitment that they are in as well, um, where there is actually conflict in that commitment. Whatever the case, this person is hurting for the connection with you. I feel like you are also feeling that pain, um, but you're both trying to move away from each other and bring about an ending, even though neither of you really want that. All right, let's see the three of wands. The three of pentacles, the queen of cups, and the nine of cups showing up again. <laughs> it was the very first card out and it's the very last card out. I'm telling you, um, you are each other's wish. You are each other's wish. There's a lot of love here. Um, I, I mean, with the Three of Pentacles, this is about teamwork, right? This is teamwork. This is love here, wish fulfillment. It is taking a little bit of time, okay, with this Three of Wands. Um, so again, this Three of Wands is suggesting that something is being set into motion and there's this waiting for this to come in, but Spirit here is saying that this is the potential here, that things can actually be worked out. So I was right when I was saying that I'm not convinced just yet that things cannot be worked out. No, with the Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, it, things can definitely be um, be worked out here. This Whatever this issue is, it's something that has the potential of being resolved. So, Aries. Yeah, it feels a little, um, just a little heavy, a little frustrating. But yeah, something bigger is happening here, that's for sure. All right, so if this resonated with you, Aries, let's get the final message for you. And we have the waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, and I feel like it's going to start gaining that momentum more and more with this three of wands here. So yeah, it is taking a little bit of time, but it will pick up speed at some point. All right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.